Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my latest video. And in this week's video, I'm going to talk about the UFC 171 card. I'm going to break down some of the fights, give you my opinions on who's going to win some of these fights, and some of the fighters' skills. So let me first start off with Olvan St. Pru versus Nikita Krylov. I'm really not too familiar, to be honest with you guys, on these two fighters. I was really hoping it was going to be Kevin Gostlem and Ricky Story moved up to the main card. I think that would have been an excellent fight and one that more of the fans would have liked to have seen. Ovan St. Pru, I'm a little familiar with. I know that he was supposed to fight Tiago Silva in his last fight, and he was a former college wrestler, or sorry, a football player. And he's a guy who's very strong and hits very hard, has a lot of power. So I'm going to pick him for this fight. I'm going to take Ovan St. Pru by stoppage. The next fight I'm going to talk to you guys about is an interesting matchup between Jake Shields and Hector Lombard. And a lot of people, I think, coming into this fight will be picking Hector Lombard to win this fight. Uh, his stock is at an all-time high. He just defeated Nate Marquardt by stoppage in his last fight. And he's a guy with a judo background, a very good record in Bellator, power in his hands. And Jake Shields, when you look at him, Jake Shields is a guy, excellent ground game. His last fight was against Damian Maya. He's a guy who's been in there with some of the toughest guys in the sport. George St. Pierre, Jake Ellenberger, Robbie Lawler, just to name a few. And he's a guy who is a ground specialist. And a fighter that will grind you out and win a close decision. And I'm actually going to pick Jake Shields in this fight. I think that Jake Shields is going to make it a dirty, grind it out kind of fight. It's not going to be the most exciting fight, but it's going to be Jake Shields eventually getting down Hector Lombard onto the ground and controlling him there, which is going to be hard to do because Hector Lombard has a judo background. So it's going to be tough for Jake Shields to do that. But I always see this when guys fight Jake Shields. Jake Shields gets them to fight his fight, and he ends up grinding out victories against them, controlling them, and winning a close decision. And that's what I see happening in this fight. The next fight I want to speak to you guys about is Miles My Jury and Diego Sanchez. So in this fight, you have Miles Jury, an up-and-coming fighter, 13-0. He defeated Michael Johnson as one guy on his resume that most people will know. And he's very well-rounded. I believe the UFC website said he avoided something like 78% of strikes against him. And he's got, you look at his resume, he's got knockout victories, a few submissions there. So he's a very well-rounded fighter. And he's actually a favorite in this fight, which will be surprising to a few people. Diego Sanchez, his last fight, he's coming off the fight of the year against Gilbert Melendez. A guy, tough guy, very durable, can take so many shots in a fight, it's amazing. Has power. Tries to break fighters down. And just a veteran who definitely has an experience advantage in this fight. But I'm actually going to take Miles Jury in this fight. I think that Miles Jury, as long as he doesn't get caught with a big shot, will outpoint Diego Sanchez and win a unanimous decision. But we have to wait and see because we don't know. Can Miles Jury take a shot from a tough guy like Diego Sanchez and hang in there? And will the experience of Diego Sanchez be too much for Miles Jury? But I think Miles Jury is a good fighter. And I think he's better overall, pretty well everywhere, than Diego Sanchez, which is why I'm taking him in this fight. The next fight I'm going to speak to you guys about is between Carlos Condit and Tyron Woodley. And this fight I am extremely excited for. Tyron Woodley the other day made a just stupid statement saying that Carlos Condit is a points fighter, which is completely ridiculous. You look at Carlos Condit's resume, he's got all kinds of stoppage victories. He's got stoppage victories over the likes of Martin Campman. He's got Rory McDonald's resume, Dung Young Kim. These are all top level fighters. And for crying out loud, he even made a George St. Pierre fight exciting. So, I mean, how can you hate on this guy? The last time that I can remember in recent memory that he had a point fighting strategy was against Nick Diaz. But other than that, I can't remember a fight in a very long time that Carlos Condit was in that was boring and he was fighting just strictly on points, trying to win by points. 
So, just a stupid statement. Tyron Woodley, a guy who just came off a big victory over Josh Koscheck, wrestling background as well, power, and he's a hungry up-and-coming fighter as well. But in this fight, I definitely see Carlos Condit defeating Tyron Woodley. You saw uh, Carlos Condit when he fought Johnny Hendricks. He got taken down by Johnny Hendricks in the fight quite a few times. But you saw Carlos Condit work his ground game, hit him with elbows from the bottom, and get back up on his feet and dominate in the feet. So if he can do that against a guy like Johnny Hendricks, who's more well-rounded than Tyron Woodley, you know, that's why I'm basically picking him to win this fight. Carlos Conant just has the advantages. In my opinion, his ground game is better than Tyron Woodley's. His striking game is on a complete different level. Carlos Conant just great knees, kicks, movement. His, like I said, his ground game has improved quite a bit since his Rory McDonald fight. You can take him down still, which he probably will get taken down, but he works off his back and gets back up to his feet. And I don't think that Tyron Woodley is ready for a guy like uh, Carlos Condit at this time. And I'm going to take Carlos Condit to win by a second round stoppage in this fight. Tyron Woodley has been stopped in the past against Nate Marquardt. And I've been very impressed with Carlos Condit like I've been stating here. I thought he defeated Johnny Hendricks in that fight, just my opinion. I thought he worked off his back when Hendricks took him down. Hendricks was just lying on top of him. And I thought he got the better of the striking battle. So I'm very impressed with Carlos Condit. And I'm really looking forward to that fight. The next fight I'm going to speak about is Johnny Hendricks and Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler, very impressive victory over Rory McDonald. I was actually shocked that he won the fight. I had Rory McDonald winning that fight. But, to, but Rory um, McDonald just was dominated by Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler just dropped him a few times, showed his power. And I was very impressed with Robbie Lawler. He's turning back the hands of time in that fight. And in this fight, I see Robbie Lawler. It will be a classic Robbie Lawler fight. He's going to throw his right hand, his right hook, which is one of his better punches. He's going to get inside. And it's going to be a very exciting fight for the fans. It's going to be lots of power shots he's going to be throwing. And if he can somehow stop the takedowns of Johnny Hendricks, it's going to be, could be a fight of the year candidate, in my opinion, because these guys are going to be both throwing bombs. And I look at Johnny Hendricks, great wrestler, vicious power, probably has the best power in that division, in my opinion, coming off a controversial loss to George St. Pierre in his last fight. And I'm going to pick... Johnny Hendricks to win this fight. I'm going to go with the decision because I don't think Johnny Hendricks can carry his power until later rounds. So I'm going to take Johnny Hendricks to win by decision. Strictly, I think he has more tools than Robbie Lawler does, but I can't wait for that fight. Definitely check out this card, guys. On my opinion, it could be one of the best of the year if everything goes as planned. Let me know what you guys think of the fights, who you got in these fights. Thank you very much for checking out, and please subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you.